Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, Certified Astrologer. In this segment, I'm going to be going over something that is a popular topic uh, due to the fact that um, many times people face this, and um, that is um, uh, extramarital affairs. Um, so we can use Vedic astrology to predict uh, any spousal extramarital affairs that might be going on using Vedic astrology. So let's get go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by talking about um, what types of relationships uh, may be informed through uh, Vedic astrology. So um, for starters, the seventh house is the main house. Um, uh, since it shows all about spouse. Um, and then as a rule of thumb, um, when aspected by beneficial planets and same time seventh lord well placed, um, gives a good spouse who takes care of you very well. Um, second house has a say in moral values and twelfth house is related to pleasures. Understanding Venus in the chart is of paramount importance. So, um, some of the things that stick out out of this is the fact that seventh house is where um, you should look. Um, if there's afflictions there, then um, there needs to be an understanding of what goes on. Um, the other thing to look for is the planet Venus. The planet Venus is the planet of uh, marriage and love. So um, if there's an affliction there, then um, there will be problems in the marriage. So I'm going to give you some specific pointers to look for um, within the Vedic chart um, to understand if uh, there will be a successful marriage or um, marriage full of affairs. Um, so Venus, when connected with the seventh house and same time afflicted by Saturn, uh, the person doesn't give importance to customs and tend to have relations uh, outside of marriage. Um, if Mars is also affecting Venus, then the person will have uncontrollable sexual desires. Um, and then if Rahu is afflicting uh, Venus, this will lead to scandals. Um, Mars, when afflicted a, in a female chart, uh, will lead to a husband who will give less attention to wife and more attention to flirting with other women. Um, and then um, an affliction of Saturn um, in the seventh house um, uh, it, it means that um, when when there's affliction by malefics uh, such as Saturn, Rahu, and Ketu, um, and placement in houses like sixth, eighth, or twelfth, um, then they're um, afflicted. Um, so again. Um, if there's affliction by Saturn, Rahu, and Ketu, and is placed in 6th, 8th, or 12th, um, makes a planet afflicted. Um, so also aspect of the Lord of 6th, 8th, and 12th uh, gives afflictions due to, the, um, due to these houses uh, being considered um, uh, worse ho outcome houses. What are other planetary uh, configuration that may show um, extramarital affairs? Um, in a female horoscope, the placement of seventh lord in ninth house is not a good placement. Um, it is uh, Satni Yoga or um, Avaglatra uh, Yoga. Now, um, the yogas are beyond the scope of this talk. Um, however, there are certain configurations that um, create these specific yogas. Um, it makes one's husband to look for pleasures outside the marriage um, uh, if there's a placement of seventh lord in the ninth house. Um, such seventh lord in the ninth house also gives a tendency to females to have a relationship outside marriage, especially when it is afflicted. So what are other configurations? Uh, Venus in Gemini also gives an urge to have a relationship outside marriage. Uh, reason being, Gemini is an air sign ruled by Mercury, though it makes one very artistic in, in nature. Uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth house from uh, Lagna, uh, which is the ascendant, uh, should not be occupied by Malefic. Uh, same aspect needs to be considered from uh, Moon uh, uh, and Navamsa charts. 
So Saturn in seventh house uh, in Navamsa also results in uh, marital infidelity. Um, second house and its lord when afflicted gives a tendency to lie and cheat. Now looking at um, the final um, uh, planetary configurations, um, it's the final two. One is um, influence of Venus over 12th house or its lords make one very lusty and moon and ascendant is afflicted. It results into uh, multiple partners. Um, so 12th house is typically seen as bad and um, its lords, uh, um, if influence over Venus, um, then can create uh, lust, lustfulness. Um, and um, then the and moon and ascendant is afflicted, then you result in multiple partners. So again, uh, these steps not only are important in the D1 chart, um, the first harmonic, uh, but also you should look into the ninth harmonic, the Navamsa chart, and this will provide you with some insight as to um, what types of um, configurations give you um, extramarital affairs. Um, I hope this has been an informative segment. Thank you for listening.